Hi everybody, I wanted to do a quick video review of the, um, this is the, uh, what's their name, Viador, Viador, Vivor, yeah Vivor, it's a big company actually, they, they make a lot of stuff, uh, and this one is the 21 foot tent, or 7 meters, um, it's big, it takes a lot, a lot of space, uh, a footprint, because you got the guy lines going, and, um, yeah, I will tell you, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the quality for, uh, for the price, however, th this type of tent has a pretty big minus, and the minus is that there's no windows, like big windows that when you're inside, you can see out. There's small windows all around. Yeah, like there's one here and they alternate. So one panel will have a, a window, another won't, another window, and so on. Um, and those have a mesh so you don't get mosquitoes and stuff. Uh, and there's also ventilation on the top that lets you, uh, you know, not have such a such a warm air inside the tent however it does get warm if you don't have the windows open i also wanted to give you a tip how to install this tent just in case you're uh you're going to purchase this so the first step for this is to actually uh open the temp tent up and then go around the tent without the pole already lifting it up and stake the side the side area and and there's stakes uh, every every like panel there's a there's a stake and this way you make the uh, bottom of the tent nice and tight and oriented nicely now afterwards you put the pole inside and this way it makes it uh, a little um, more um, oriented. If you can see here, I made a mistake. And the base is a little twisted. Not a big deal. Now also the, the base is made out of very thick uh, rubbery type uh, floor. Uh, no water comes from that, that's for sure. However, it did leak a little. It does leak a little few drops in heavy rain. So let me open this up and we can go inside. I'll, we'll take a look together. These, these flaps, you can um, fold them up and then there's uh, ties over there and you can tie them. There's a mesh here, another mesh. Now, a lot of, an, another problem that I've noticed is that this there's not um, like there's no way to actually really tightly close this thing and um, my suspicion is that the first thing that would go on this tent would be those zippers I don't believe that this is the best quality zipper and I feel like this thing the first thing that would go. All right, so now we're inside, right? And honestly, this is a huge tent. You can, uh, this is a king size inflatable. You could literally fit uh, four of them here, if not more, I don't know. And you can see the vents over there and you see they have mesh, but right now it's wicked hot here. So I would need to open each one of these vents to somehow create a little bit of a, you know, a nicer uh, atmosphere here. But as you can see, that when you're inside, those little windows are not enough if you want to enjoy the, you know, nature and the view. It's just simply not enough. Not enough. Um, now this this is the floor. It's pretty thick. Uh, it's not the type of, of floor that you would get water through unless it gets punctured. This is how the pole comes. Um, I will say that 
we put this foam there, but uh, the floor is reinforced in that center section to accommodate for this pole. And this is how it looks in the top. It also comes with, um, it's ready for, I guess, a stove. This is like a silicone membrane that's uh, heat resistant. And so you could do it either a stove that comes from the top or a stove that has the, the flue from the back. As you can see, this is the water that accumulated here. Not a lot. And this is really from the seeping from this fabric material that the tent is made of. So, um, do I recommend this tent? Honestly, that's a tough question. I've not had this enough to uh, give it to, to tell you if this is will stand the, the you know the elements a long time. Uh, this has been up for about a month. Honestly, for me, I I'm I'm gonna return this because I I never realized when I opened this when I when I ordered this that I won't get really in na with nature because there's no big windows in this tent and honestly I don't want, I know it's kind of stupid that uh, you have to think about that stuff and I I, I feel a little bit silly for not uh, realizing that but other than that it's well made everything comes really nice they they come up with these guy lines and all the stakes and those are easy to to um, attention really besides the few drops that uh, the fabric cuts through while it really rains hard not that big of a deal however for me big of a deal is uh, not feeling part of nature there's not there's the big windows are missing and that's the minus with this type of tent all right so hopefully you enjoyed this video please please thumb up subscribe if you like this type of uh, content and i'll uh, catch you in the next video thanks for watching and uh, have a great day